Good morning everyone and Happy New Year. So today's January 1st and our puppies turned one week old on Monday. So they're doing good. Their eyes are starting to open. Ellie's doing great. Let's take a look. Hi, Mama Ellie. This is George. Is he saying hi to George? Or would you say hi to George? So these are our two single, bo our two uh, twins. I, I would, I call them twins. <laughs> but um, that's George. His little eyes are open. And here's Emmett over here, just kind of taking a snooze. Mommy's still very attentive to them. Their little eyes are open. They just turned a week old last Monday. Ben, he's a big guy. He's over three pounds. He's taking a nanite. Hey, little man. Oh, I know, I done woke you up, handsome. Oh, he said, is it time to eat? Did I miss food? The only time he comes to life is when he's hungry. Oh, hi, little Emmett. Oh, you like that. Yes, you like that, oh, Emmett. So he's the one that's over three pounds. He was three pounds at six days old, so he's only gotten bigger. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Are you gonna wake up, Emma? You licking your little toes? Yep. Taking care of yourself. That's nice. Oh my goodness, isn't he sweet? Hi, little boy. Hi, little boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said I'm tired. I don't want to be bothered with you later. So this is the perks of having puppies. You good to give them kisses? <sighs> Look at him. He said, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to be picked up. Mm. Hi, little boy. Just giving him kisses, mama. Yes. This is Emmett, he's big, look at him. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby boy. Look at that little face. I'm curious on how big he's going to be, but he's got to eat, you know. But she takes really good care of him. She just loves them. Cleaning them up. And they'll, uh, they get warm, so they toddle off and they can, you know, either sleep on the floor would it get be a little bit cooler not a lot because it's pretty warm in here or they sleep on the blankets with their mummy so she's doing really good i was able to actually get some sweatshirts done so this is the one that i have that i i liked because i the this kind of uh seafoam Green is kind of like my favorite, and it's just our Devoted Danes. So we are dabbling in sweatshirts now. Uh, this is one of my favorites. The guy ones that we had, I had done up were a darker gray with black print. So uh, we had a couple of those. So now we got the sweatshirts, t-shirts. She's uh, up and at them now, eating well, drinking. She still likes what she wants to eat, but that's kind of normal. Even for some of our older Danes, they're kind of fussy. So, you know, if someone prefers peanut butter, they get peanut butter. If someone, you know, prefers cottage cheese, that's what we do. We know what they like, so we're pretty good about getting them. And Ellie is only accepting uh, canned dog food pate, which normally she doesn't like. But that's what she's wanting, so that's what we're feeding her. Her little puppies are growing well. I love to see how big these two boys get. Ellie normally has big puppies anyway, and Farley is our biggest male. He's 179 pounds. 
Ellie's like 130 something, I believe they wrote. Well, actually, I think she's less than that. I think they said that she was less than that, but I didn't think it was right. So maybe she's like 120, but she's, she's tall. So she's our tallest girl. Ellie is also uh, Lexi's mom. So we have Lexi, she's our Harlequin. She'll be bred in the spring next time she goes into heat. So we'll be looking forward to that litter. We have a lot of, we have some planned litters coming up for 2021. Um, I have just the most immediate ones listed on our website, but we will uh, have other ones, obviously. But that's what we currently are planning. We kind of don't plan out too far ahead. I mean, they only go into heat every six months, so if it kind of gets close to when they're going to heat, we'll decide, okay, yeah, we're going to we're gonna breed this one, or no, this one's not going to be bred this time. So we don't breed every heat every time. Sometimes we breed back to back, sometimes we don't. It all depends on the mom, how well she adjusts, um, how well she comes back from having um, puppies, and that's also the indication of like, you know, some people say, how many litters do you have? Well, it's all different depending on, you know, the female. So sometimes it's not very many. Sometimes it's, you know, more than the normal that we normally do. Like Ellie is one of ours that um, she's had our most litters only because she's always been impeccable health. Um, you know, she's a great mother. She bounces back well. But um, so that's why we ended up, why I ended up breeding her one last time. So here's Emmett, weighed this little guy today. He's uh, five pounds. He's so cute. He's got a sweet spot already. Oh my goodness. So he likes, he gets a warm heel, make sure he inches down to here where it's a little bit cooler. We uh, Oh, I'm sleeping. How dare you let me to go eat? So mind you, he's not even two weeks old. Look how long he is. He's gonna go get something to eat. He's got those little feet going. <laughs> so this is the consistency of his day. Eats, toddles off, wakes up and go has go goes eating some more. They're both doing really good though. So this is a, our small, small litter that we had in a little while. We did have a singleton, um, oh wait, a few months, oh look at, so this is how easy they are. They like, he ate, Him's tired, he's gonna take a nap, Emmett's over there, look, I think getting ready to take a nap, and Ellie is too.